Hi everyone, so I just received a notification that my Nuance Audio hearing glasses are at the door, so let's go get them. All right, so there's only one thing left to do now, and that is to get testing. Hi all, and welcome back to Hearing Tracker. I am Dr. Steven Taddy, and today we're taking a hands-on and lab-tested look at Nuance Audio hearing glasses. And they are a unique over-the-counter hearing aid that combines glasses and hearing tech into a single discrete device. In fact, depending on how you look at it, this may be the most invisible hearing aid available today, especially if you already wear glasses. Let's cover some key features of the Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses. Well, first, they do have six internal microphones that offer highly directional amplification. They are also a more open ear design, so they won't block your ear canals like traditional hearing aids. You can also control them wirelessly with the Nuance app, which we will cover in greater detail later. Now let's cover some of the product specs. They do not offer hands-free calling, but they are rechargeable via an internal lithium ion rechargeable battery that offers around eight hours under average conditions. They are app controlled, but they do not support audio streaming at this time. There is no telecoil and they have an IPX4 water resistance rating. Now Nuance is FDA cleared as an over-the-counter hearing aid. And this means that they are intended for adults with no worse than a mild to moderate hearing loss. They're available online for around $1,100 and through optical retailers like LensCrafters and Target Optical. These stores may even have a pair that you can demo in store before you buy. And if you purchase them, they can obviously be fit with your own prescription lenses. Nuance does offer a 30 day return policy and you can choose between two frames, multiple colors and clear or transition lenses. But for today's review, we're testing the Square 54 model in black with the normal clear lenses. Now we have a lot to cover in this video. We'll walk through the unboxing, some app experiences, my real world use, we'll share lab results from Hear Advisor, and we'll listen to some audio files of Nuance glasses so you can hear what they sound like with your own ears. So we have much to discuss with Nuance hearing glasses, but here is our scorecard summarizing all of our testing. Overall, Nuance hearing glasses received a hearing tracker score of 3.2 out of 5. But there are many nuances to unpack here, so let's start by taking a look at what's in the box. Now I will say the overall package here was quite nice. I did run into some issues here where the easy tab poles didn't quite pull off and you can see me needing to use a knife there. But fortunately this one came off with no issues. But like I said, the overall presentation is quite nice. And here you can see that square 54 black model with clear lenses that I mentioned previously. So they fit pretty well. They do just feel like normal glasses. Inside this little leaflet, there are various user documents that you'll want to read. There is also a folding case, which I'm embarrassed to say got the better of me. And here is the charging pad. Last bit to unbox here is a microfiber cloth, which I haven't shown, and this USB-C cable. All right, so something that I just realized that is a little bit annoying um, is the cable that comes with them is a standard USB-C to USB-C. And that's great if you already have the adapter that takes a USB-C and then will go into your wall. So I honestly don't have an appropriate plug to plug this into the wall. So we're going to have to use one of the cables that I already have and get this plugged in, at least for now. So here we can see the Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses charging. Obviously there's this little indicator that pops up down here after around 15 seconds of having them on the charging base. If it is orange like you see mine now, that indicates that we're probably less than 20% battery. Once it turns green, that's when the battery is somewhere between that 20 to 100% charge. You can put the glasses on either way, front or back. However, what you cannot do is put them kind of top down like this. It'll feel pretty logical because when you put them down, there is a little bit of a magnetic pull, which is nice. Here we see that foldable case that I mentioned, and I honestly had a really good laugh about this because it took me far too long to realize that these wings need to go out in order for the glasses to actually fit. And once you do get the glasses in there properly, it's quite a nice case. Changing gears slightly, Nuance supports wireless app control with Bluetooth low energy, and therefore it is compatible with both iOS and Android devices. So let's get them paired and explore the Nuance Audio mobile app. So the first thing we'll need to do is press and hold this button on the side of the glasses until we see a blue light flashing. Just like that. And 
And it also gave me a little chime, letting me know that the pairing was complete. All right, let's walk through their onboarding. Comfortably put the glasses on my face. Check. Moving on to two. So the app is recommending we practice turning them off and on. We can do that with just a long press of the same side button that we used for the Bluetooth pairing. Now, Nuance audio glasses are preset based over the counter devices, meaning they come preloaded with various settings that you can switch between. So when I press this button, it is just cycling between one, two, three, and four beeps, which are their four default programs. The app is now asking us to calibrate these devices for my voice, which should help reduce the overall annoyance whenever I speak. So let's give this a go. Okay, so it just analyzed my environment. It's asking me to keep the glasses on. All right, so now the app's asking me to count to 20, and I imagine it's gonna be analyzing my voice when it does that, that way it gets a better sense of how I sound versus someone else, and can better reduce me whenever I speak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I was just about to get into the app with you, however, let me know that there was a firmware update, and it was a little notification across the bottom, and then it went away, so if you do need to update yours, you can just go to the far right menu button, or tab, and then select your glasses, and then it will show you the firmware update. And let's get that installed now. So now that we have them paired, and we have the firmware update, let's actually go through all the different features that are available within this app. Now across the very top left, you will see that we do have the ability to take a look at the battery level of our devices, which is a nice feature. This noise tracking feature, we can scan this, and it'll give you an idea of how loud your environment is. This is a nice feature to have, I guess, with regard to hearing conservation, so you can get a sense of how loud the environment might be. Now we can go to our background noise, and if we go to lower, this will help reduce the environmental sound levels as much as possible. If you go to heightened, it will let more sound through, and I can definitely tell the difference as I switch between them. Now we have four different presets as well, and you can switch between these presets here and it'll give you a little bit of information about them. However, A is for a flat mild hearing loss, B is for a sloping mild hearing loss, C is for a sloping moderate hearing loss, and then D is for a flat moderate hearing loss. Now that might not mean very much to you unless you're an audiologist or you have gone to an audiologist and had them perform a hearing test, which is always, always recommended. In general, you can switch between these programs and see which one offers you the most benefit. Beyond that, we also do have a traditional volume control, which we can increase or decrease. And then the last setting that we really have access to is this audio mode, which is going to change between more directional microphones. You know, the Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses have six microphones on them, which allows them to focus very directionally in noisy situations. For example, if you're at a restaurant and you want to hear the person sitting across from you. However, you can always click this button all around and that'll give you a little bit more access to sound coming from all directions. All right, well that's enough setup and certainly enough talking, so let's get out in the real world and see how they actually perform. One major pro of Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses is obviously their unique style of being glasses and a hearing aid. And there's really nothing else like this on the market right now. Now let's take a moment and talk about the price of Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses. They are around $1,100, $1,200, and that does kind of put them towards the mid to higher end of OTC devices. Now one thing worth noting is many clinics may offer prescription hearing aids in the sub $2,000 category. Now these will likely be either older generation technologies and or lower tier technologies, but that doesn't mean that they're bad hearing aids. Now something else that's really noteworthy about this style of hearing aid is that they don't sit inside your ears like traditional hearing aids. Now if you've tried hearing aids in the past, you know that there's likely a little speaker that goes down in your ear. And while it's generally not a deal breaker for people, uh, many people will note that it's either uncomfortable or tickles or just takes some getting used to. But with Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses, given that the speaker is sitting back here, you don't have any physical sensation of a hearing aid sitting in your ear. One thing that you will likely note 
is if you're in specifically, I would say C or D, the two programs that do offer a little bit more gain or amplification, and then you do increase the volume, the perception of your own voice does increase significantly. And in my experience, this still occurs even if you perform that own voice calibration. Good morning, can I get a medium iced coffee, please? I'm in program C right now. What you'll notice if I increase the volume quite a bit, uh, imagine you can hear that. They're, they're a little volatile with feedback. And, you know, being in a car is a unique situation because there's lots of reflective surfaces around here. And there's really no one else that I'd be talking to other than a situation like that. But it is worth noting that if you are someone who is maybe towards the higher end of that mild to moderate range, um, that you are likely going to experience a little bit more of your own voice through these glasses and certainly hand movements like that are more likely to cause feedback. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so one other element of Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses that I would be remiss if we didn't talk about is the battery life. So they do last around eight hours on average conditions. And obviously that that means is they're really not going to get you through your entire day. Nuance knows this, and their solution is to use them situationally. And many OTC devices are designed around this premise of situational use. Now what that points to is that these devices will likely not be for you if you are someone who needs regular hearing help given that eight hour limit. All right, so now that we're caffeinated, let's get back to the lab and take a look at some of that objective data that we have collected through Hear Advisor. If you're not familiar with Hear Advisor, they are our partners, and I am actually the lab director that performs all of the objective testing. Now, the goal of Hear Advisor is to use industry standards and the latest science to predict audio performance given a common age-related hearing loss. All devices are tested using the same protocols in a dedicated acoustic lab so we can make more fair, data-driven comparisons between products. Here are Nuance's results across Hear Advisor's five sound quality metrics and two fitting paradigms. With Nuance, it's worth noting that the initial and tune scores were identical, and this is because there were limited adjustments to be made beyond that initial fit. Still, the results were strong, and Nuance Hearing Glasses earned a sound grade of A and received the 2025 Expert Choice Award. If you'd like more information about Hear Advisor, the testing, feel free to visit HearAdvisor.com and or check out our other videos. I'll leave a link to a few of those in the description below. Now let's listen to some audio files that were recorded in the Hear Advisor lab to get a better sense of how Nuance audio glasses perform in a typical cafe setting. You'll first hear the cafe environment without Nuance glasses, and then we'll switch over to the initial and tune fit recordings. And again, the initial and tune fit were the same, so don't expect to hear any difference. Lastly, be sure to use headphones and keep the volume consistent across all recordings. It. Looks like we're finally getting a break. I mean, it's supposed to be sunny all weekend. Oh, yeah? Perfect timing. Maybe I can finally get out there and do some yard work. <laughs> yard work? My mind went to breaking out the grill. Well, that too. The lawn isn't going to cut itself, and the bushes have gotten a little crazy. I think that's the truth. I mean, I've been putting off staying in the deck, but this year, maybe a year. Trees, bushes, deck. So overall, how did Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses hold up? Well, there was one unique finding, and that is that head size can greatly affect your experiences. Since the speakers are built into the temple arms, larger heads may pull the speakers away from your ears, reducing perceived amplification. Unfortunately, this isn't something you can tweak like with traditional hearing aids, and while it isn't a deal breaker, it is worth noting. This really points to the benefits of you trying them in store and being mindful of the 30 day trial period to ensure that you experience enough amplification benefits. So who are Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses really for? Well, if you're an adult who already wears glasses and only needs occasional help due to mild hearing loss, they may work quite well for you. They're also worth considering if you want a discreet and simple over the counter device and you don't really want audio streaming or need all day use. Now, some key pros to Nuance Audio Hearing Glasses are their innovative synergy of vision and hearing help. They do have discrete design. Their app is fairly easy to use. They are rechargeable and fairly convenient from that standpoint. Now, some of the cons of these glasses are that the rechargeable internal batteries only last around eight hours. There's also no support for audio streaming or hands-free calling. 
Now, one other major downside from my perspective as a provider is that they can't really be programmed based on your hearing loss. They are preset-based devices. Nuance also offers limited support and doesn't currently offer direct assistance or guidance from hearing care providers. But that's it for today's video. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out the full written review over at hearingtracker.com. You can also find excellent additional nuance coverage by my colleague, audiologist Matthew Alsa. Whether you're looking for product information or clinical insights, he has a video for you, and I'll include a few of those in the description below. All right, well, that wraps up this video on nuance audio hearing glasses. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Does it, do the wings go outward? The wings go, I... <laughs> that took way too long. I feel so stupid right now. Okay, there we go. Let's call that a shot.